beautiful Aquarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for May 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I'll never ask you for your credit card details and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Aquarians, the new moon eclipse was in Taurus on the 30th of April, and you should still be feeling the energy from that particular moon. That's all about value, how you value yourself in the most important way, but also it's about how you value others and uh, how you look at your financial uh, sort of status and um, whether you're comfortable or whether you, what you want to achieve going forward. Uh, so uh, also you may feel a little bit more like spending your money, uh, treating yourself to a gift, um, of course, in the next couple of weeks because of that Taurus influence. Um, it's all about possessions and what you have, what you own. Uh, but of course, don't uh, splash out too much. Don't spend all of your money or more than you can afford because Uranus and Mars are in the mix and they bring sort of sudden shocks or changes. Um, so it can mean that, um, you know, if you spend too much and you sort of like uh, overstretch yourself, there could be like a bill that surprises you, that sort of thing. Uh, also, so um, that time period brings radical changes for a positive shift. So although uh, we can all of a sudden um, have some sort of change within our world, it does bring a positive situation on the other side. Mercury is in retrograde on the 10th of May, and that can bring communication issues, uh, things like internet going down just when you've got a deadline, uh, emails going astray, um, or you can't find information. Um, it can also be... Um, text messages mis being misconstrued or you having a conversation it gets misconstrued so I would watch out for that it is a very frustrating time uh, it also can bring people from your past back into your world so it doesn't always have to be an ex so you know the go-to energy is not there's an ex coming back it can mean a friend that you haven't seen for a while perhaps someone that maybe you fell out with or uh, that you just lost touch with uh, it is a um a time period of returns okay uh, but it can also bring X's back just so you're aware okay uh, now um, we also have a full moon eclipse on the 16th of May it's in Scorpio so that is a very intense moon uh, it is about emotional freedom now it's all about letting go of things that no longer serve you dropping the baggage which I can see with that ten of wands uh, you may have been struggling recently and you are letting go of all of that um, it brings better concentration so you get a sharper mind and clarity with this uh, particular moon so it is a positive moon but it's about releasing like resentment anger sadness or even things like um, perfectionism or being hard on yourself releasing negative self-talk as well so that's very important uh, release going on there um, oh no we got three more thank you so much spirit guides for angels can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians what do they need to know can you please guide them for their highest good what are they meant to see um, also, uh, just to let you know that um, your uh, fourth house is activated right at the beginning of the month, so right now, and that's all about the home life, domesticity, so you may be focusing on things around the home, maybe doing uh, some DIY or spring cleaning, uh, I mean, spring has already sprung, right, So, uh, but you may have been uh, thinking about rearranging your home in some way, uh, and really focusing on perhaps if you're wanting to move home, or uh, where you belong is basically the energy of this time period so you may be looking at that whether you're happy within your space and if you're not uh, just sh either shifting things around it gives it a breath of fresh air uh, it could also be uh, you 
physically moving. Uh, so uh, you may feel compelled to look at new property, for example, and start a plan to save for it. Uh, also, that 10th house is activated from the 16th of May, and that's all about career, ambition, uh, how you make your mark on the world. So you may feel a little bit more um, focused on work at that time. So it's about finding that balance, and I can see with that Six of Pentacles, that's exactly what you're doing. You're finding that balance, okay? I'm just going to go and get that card. Um, <clears throat> for you, one moment, please. It's just over there. I won't be a second. Oh, it's a great card. Uh, three cups, so celebration ahead for you. Um, <clears throat> now, we got the Empress twice in your reading. Um, once is in the resistance position, so this means you haven't been giving yourself enough time, me time, uh, but as we uh, close the month, we can see that actually uh, that influence from Taurus, how you value yourself, finding time for to meet your own needs uh, is there, so I do feel like you will be focusing on yourself. Now, your protagonist energy, you've got a choice. We've got the judgment card here, so you're weighing up options in life, looking at your next step, your next move. Uh, Capricorn had similar energy just to let you know, uh, and we've got, um, <clears throat> we got some earth elements here, uh, I feel like, you know, focusing on career, money, things like that is very important in the month of May, um, especially as we have that Taurus influence, as I said there, but the judgment card is about you sort of getting a renewal of energy, an awakening of some sort, uh, maybe even a revelation uh, in your month of May, and this is about like a resurrection of energy, of a thought uh, form, uh, I never really think or talk about thought forms, uh, but it's coming out for some reason, so this is about you sort of Reevaluating and working out how to evolve. What's the next stage in your life or in your career? So, or, or in your personal life, even um, it, it's about the next step. You're at a bit of a fork in the road where you are reaching for something new. And in order to do that, we've got to release the blockages, release anything that's being hindered from our path. So, this is a renewal of energy, but it's also a renewal of what is the next step. Um, this card is also a card of second chances. So, you may be getting a second wind of energy on something um, if you felt like a little bit uh, bogged down by uh, responsibility or you, you're really exhausted for example uh, you've been looking at um, all the way that you work and invest your time your energy and care into people and into situations and career and all of those things and you may be asking is is it a balanced life that I'm leading right now? And if it's not, I feel like you really are trying to find that balance because the Six of Pentacles says you're giving so much that you should be fairly recompensed for it. Now, of course, the Judgment card is also a card of uh, people re-entering your life from the past, asking for a second chance, okay? Because we got that Mercury retrograde on the 10th of May, I have to uh, acknowledge that this is a return card. And we've got the Six of Pentacles here and uh, the, the Two of Pentacles and the Death card. So I really feel like you're putting an end to anyone who's kind of wishy-washy in your energy field, who, uh, you know, comes on in and sort of um, makes you an option. Like, you know, if there's a friend that comes on in, makes plans with you, then drops you at the last minute, or if, you know, um, there's an ex that comes on in and shows you, like, they've got one foot in, but one foot out at the door of a relationship, you know, I feel like you're putting an end to that. You're, you're ending it. You've decided enough is enough, and you're creating a new beginning that's really positive for you because you're putting yourself first. In the past, or in a resistance position here, we have, you have not put yourself first, my beautiful Aquarians, in situations. You've had a lot of responsibility, um, and I feel like uh, now's the time to put your own needs first and be met. Um, now, they're giving me the sentence that I use a lot, okay, uh, because Spirit gives me this sentence a lot, so I have to use it. Um, and it is, we can only meet each other as deeply as we have met ourselves. And I feel like you are looking at yourselves, you're, you, you've done a lot of spiritual growth and a lot of spiritual work, and I feel like you're only vibing with people who match your frequency. You're willing to acknowledge people who uh, vibe at a little bit of a less frequency, but only if they're willing to sort of change or transition in some way, step up. I feel like you're the sort of person who helps people up, um, but if you feel like they're not willing 
or their resistance in some way, I feel like you're not putting the work into those situations anymore and you're just letting them go. And if they gravitate back into your life, then you feel, okay, maybe they're meant to be in my life. But if they're not, I feel like you're just sort of taking a step back from those situations. Uh, this card is also a card of clarity, okay? Making final decisions on things and having that wake up call in life where you look at your path and you go, I know where to go. And if you don't, I feel like you're investing time, energy to research the way. But it's a card of having faith. They're actually showing me, and they show this to me occasionally. I feel maybe in the whole time that I've been reading um, and channeling, uh, they've shown me this image uh, maybe twice. Um, and they're showing me a film. Um, it is, um, it is, uh, well, actually, I'm, you know, I'm confused as to which film it is. I want to say it's The Goonies, but at the same time, I want to say it is um, Indiana Jones. It's walking a path of faith they're just showing me someone putting um dust onto an invisible path i want to say it's in indiana jones but i'm also getting this energy from goonies so i mean it could be maybe there's two trials in there um maybe you've been going through uh, some tests recently in life and um you are passing the test with faith okay so i feel uh, the image they're showing me is someone getting some sand or dust and sprinkling it across what it looks like a chasm and um, it reveals a path and it's about taking the first step on the path. So uh, I feel like that's relevant to your situation. I mean, literally, you could have watched Goonies or uh, Indiana Jones recently in the last couple of days, perhaps, or, or it's been on your mind. But they're showing me that image right now. So I feel it's more about having that faith to take a first step in a certain direction that you're nervous about or it's new. The Six of Pentacles indicates there is a sudden gift from the universe. It tends to be a surprise. The universe offering um, some good karma towards you to help you on your life path. The judgment card is a card of your calling and your true prosperity. And the universe is offering an opportunity to come your way in order to help you on that journey. The Six of Pentacles is also about uh, your generous spirit. You're very um, good with helping people um, and also, you know, um, you know, giving to charity and things like that. You're a very generous soul and the universe is surprising you with, uh, with what normally tends to be a financial gift because it's a pentacles, uh, but it does mean that the universe is now um, bestowing benevolence upon you in the month of May, okay? And the Two of Pentacles here indicates that there could be two options that come on in here for you. You could be doing a lot of multitasking, trying to make lots of things work, of course. Um, but I feel like the Death card indicates that you're changing the way that you work. You're streamlining the way that you work. So, for example, you could be looking at uh, how you invest your time, your energy into things that matter. It doesn't always have to be work. It can be your energy being invested into something. And you're looking, about, you're looking at the exchange. OK, um, and I feel with the two of Pentacles, it's always a reminder to find that balance between work and play. It's interesting that you've got the six of Pentacles, which is all about balance. You've got the two of Pentacles, which is about trying to multitask or weigh up your options and, you know, give your energy to maybe two sort of um, jobs or opportunities or two places. I mean, you know, especially if you're a parent, because we've got the uh, Empress twice, you know, you may be trying to manage that. A career as well as looking after children uh, or you know it's about fielding your energy into different places and this uh, it's like an energy of duality finding that rhythm in life where you're giving equally to situations you're juggling so I feel like you've got some choices ahead of you and I feel this is about you making the right decisions for you to find that balancing act of life that we all have to find and perhaps you haven't been feeling it uh, that you've been um, achieving it so much recently because you've been giving your your energy out to a lot of people a lot of scenarios a lot of attention to your progress but the your it's at your own expense because the empress card is in the resistance position which means you've not been spending too much time on yourself so may will see you actually focus on yourself a little bit more the death card indicates something needs to change you're in a transitional period. So if you've been going through a real test of faith, some of you may be looking at uh, how you work or your true calling. It doesn't have to be about work. It can be about your, your, you know, the reason for being, making your mark on the world. I'm only mentioning work because your career is heavily starred in May because of your 10th house of ambition and how you uh, sort of, um, sort of, 
what you're known for within your field, let's put it that way. The death card signals transition and change, transformation of some sort. And now is the time to change to allow um, you know, progress for your highest good. Um, it, it, is, it is a time to welcome in the new. And the judgment card says, you know, uh, even though things may return to your life, you're still willing to um, actually welcome in the new. You're choosing the new path. So this could be, um, for example, if you're looking for a new opportunity in business or career and you're looking for a new job, um, there could be, um, well, I feel like there is two opportunities that actually come on in. Both of them are equally financially um, rewarding, but I would say you're deciding to choose the one that actually gives you more time for you, okay? So I feel like it's not, it's more about quality of life. That's what I'm feeling from your particular energy in May, finding, um, a quality of life that benefits you in particular. Um, now we've got the Empress card, it's in the resistance position, and that means you know you may have felt a little bit less than yourself recently, you may have felt a little bit uh, disconnected from your center, um, and you may have even neglected your own needs. Um, sometimes, my beautiful Aquarians, you have a feeling of um, low self-confidence, and I mean we all go through those periods, but recently you may have felt a little bit like in a um, hump, as it were, I hope that makes sense, H-U-M-P, hump, as in like low energy, low motivation. You may have felt a little bit of a creative block, for example, if you're a creative person, or you may have um, had that low energy. The Ten of Wands tells me it's because you're exhausted, you're burning yourself out, okay? There's a lot of responsibility on you, and whether, as I said, whether you're a parent or not, or whether you've got, um, you know, responsibilities I feel like they're chipping away at your energy field and you know uh, getting important rest I mean is is vital for you to sort of um, move forward now also and this is not going to resonate for everyone but also you may have been looking at yourself in the mirror recently and not uh, loving yourself as much as you should be um, I mean we all again go through moments of that uh, it's human nature um, don't let anyone tell you that you got to be happy all the time or, you know, looking at yourself and thinking, F I'm fine, I'm damn fine all the time. That just doesn't work. Humans are very uh, complex humans. Uh, we're all complex creatures. Uh, I feel there's an element here of you just feeling a little bit low vibe and looking at yourself as well, like you've um, you're not happy with the way that you look, for example, sometimes. Um, and they're, they're indicating here that um, if you've been doing a lot of like a balancing act in life where you're trying to spin all the plates and you've had low time for you and you've had low time for fun with your friends, for example, they're indicating that you're going to revitalize your spirits in May. That is a challenge to overcome, to find the, the happiness or the fun within life again. Um, with that three of cups, I feel like you could be coming together with friends, celebrating. There's definitely something to celebrate. I'm going to pull a card on it and see what that is. But most importantly, spirit are indicating celebrate yourself. I know it sounds egotistical, but you've come a long way. It's not ego in a bad way. It's ego in a good way. You're boosting yourself. You're boosting your morale. Okay. It's important that we do those things as we move through life because sometimes we can forget ourselves in the humdrum of life where we're on a routine. We're in a habit. We're just getting up in the morning. We're brushing our teeth. We're, you know, getting to work. We're, you know, doing a life cycle, then coming home and we're on repeat. Sometimes we forget ourselves and our passions and our creativity. So if you've been recently finding that you've been a bit disconnected from the things that you love or the things that you've been uh, longing to do and you just haven't had time for you, in May, you're going to find more time for you. The Ten of Wands says that you, you know, you're about to set down your heavy load and you're about to reap rewards because the Ten of Wands says you've been working really hard, uh, you're at burnout or you're absolutely exhausted and it's taking its toll on your, um, could be on your health as well. Now, the Empress card, I feel as it's showing up in the end position for the month, this is a really beautiful energy because it means you're actually going to feel more like yourself. You're going to uh, revitalize your energy, uh, connect to healthier boundaries um, and uh, exercise routines and, and diets and things like that. Not just, uh, it's not for aesthetics. It's so that you feel good, that you have more energy, okay? Um, so that Ten of Wands, I feel like you're going to overcome and you're going to get a boost of energy. Seven of Pentacles, it's interesting, you're going from the Six to the Seven of Pentacles, which means you're looking at your investment into things that you have been working on. You're at evaluation periods, okay? So anything you're dissatisfied with, I feel like you're shedding it, you're letting it go. The Three of Cups indicates that you've got a lot of support network, uh, people who love you. Um, 
they're actually showing me right now um okay they're showing me a couple of things uh one is they're showing me a woodpecker a woodpecker so maybe that's what you feel like recently that you've been just chip 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 chipping away at something that's really hard um and um it's taken a toll on you and i feel like um the time period that we're living in as well is is a very difficult one so i feel that you know it's been taking its toll on you uh all around um i mean there's no swords here so i feel like you know anxiety and things like that perhaps you've been keeping that at bay but you recognize that you're exhausted with the challenges that life has thrown up recently and i feel like you're going to overcome a lot of that the king of wands indicates you know you're going to get that vitality back that energy that boost of creativity you're also going to be able to influence your circumstances to get everything that you want and need with that nine of cups so the seven of pentacles is you evaluating your life right now and looking at where you're happy where you're not happy where you need to change certain things and where you are like everything's ticking over and it's fine uh, the seven of pentacles is your sort of checking in at your development and where you want to be at life right now it's also making deals with yourself so if you're looking uh, at certain things like your money for example and you're like I'm not happy with that maybe you're taking a second stream of income or setting up your own business because I do see some sort of gift or opportunity coming towards you to level up even further the king of wands tells me that you're stepping into either a leadership position or you're taking the initiative to set up your own business entrepreneurship or even you know just gain your energy your vitality back your passion back your motivation back for something that you've been dedicated to for such a long time okay so that seven of pentacles is you looking at all the hard work you've done and what you're getting out of it uh, so I feel that woodpecker is like there may be even a situation where you feel like you've been banging your head against a brick wall um but i feel like the woodpecker is showing that you are making progress you're about to chip way away to the other side um but it's been a long progress the three of cups indicates that the challenges that you've been facing there is celebration at the end of it there is reward and you're going to receive that okay this is also a card of uh, enjoyment you know getting out there and uh, sort of enjoying life as much as possible i know it's easier said than done there's still some restrictions around the world depending on where you're at regarding you know um uh, the pandemic and things like that and also you know you've been uh, working so hard right now that um, i feel like there is a personal win coming on in here for you whether it's an opportunity that you've been trying to chip away at for a while or whether this is something that you've been trying to manifest it's showing up in your world and this is good news to be celebrated okay so I really feel like now also um there, you're going to receive a message um is what spirits give me right now you're going to receive a message in the month of May from someone and it actually has these words in it I was just thinking about you I was just thinking about you okay so um, I mean it could be a friend that's reaching out it could be a romantic person um, it could be someone from your past but they're just giving me those words I've been thinking about you um, I mean, it may even be I've been thinking about you a lot because I feel this person's energy that you have actually been on this person's mind okay so you're gonna get a message like that in the month of May look out for that um, I feel like it gives it lifts your spirits that's what they're showing me it lifts your spirits now We've also got the full card. This is your outcome energy. So you're taking a leap of faith or taking a new path. There's a new adventure opening up to you. But at grassroots, I feel like you're looking at your potential. You have a lot of potential, a lot of talent, and it's about the enjoyment of the journey. A lot of us are always focused on the goal, the end point. And when we do that, it feels like a big task. We start to think, wow, it is a big task to get to where we want to go. And we forget to enjoy the journey. And the full card is here to remind us to enjoy that journey, to take the leap of faith, trust that the universe has got your back, and that enjoy the adventure of life. You're very original, my beautiful Aquarians. You're very good at what you do, and you have ideas where you think outside the box. People actually enjoy your um, playful nature as well. You're very, uh, you've got a very playful, open heart, and people love that about you. Um, but when you get a lot of responsibility and you're bogged down with that energy, I feel like you become a bit, you take a step back, you become a little bit reclusive in your energy. Um, this is showing me that there could be a new opportunity that leads you in another direction that you're really excited about. Uh, some of you, uh, I feel this is like uh, you planning an adventure or planning your next adventure. Um, I feel also this is a card of independence, going your own way. Especially with that King of Wands there, it can mean that your dedication is taking you in a different direction and you're marching to the beat of your own drum. Uh, you're not conforming to other people's lives 
or expectations. And I feel like you're taking a leap or taking the plunge in an area of your life that sees you dedicate yourself to something really, really successful. So it could be that you're setting up your own business on the side of um, what you do already, but the universe is sending you an opportunity, whether that is a piece of information or whether it is a person uh, to change something in your world, you're making the changes. The death card says you are making the transitions. Okay, so this is not happening uh, to you, it's happening for you, which is very important. Now the other image, well, they were, it's not really an image, they're giving me um, a song. Um, <clears throat> Now it's either I'm going, I'm sending you a love song today, or I'm writing a love song today. It's very muffled, but all I hear is um, love song today, and the today is really extended. Today, I'm sorry, I, nobody needs to hear me sing, so I, I, that's why I, I, I speak the lyrics. Um, didn't ask for this. Okay, so, I mean, I don't really know what that song is. Um, it sounds very modern. Um, I'm going to have to look it up. I'm, I do apologize. When I can't get it, I'll be always honest and say, you know, I, I have no idea. So I have no idea what that song is. I mean, I'm going to write you a love song or I'm going to send you a love song or something today. Um, I mean, I mean, it can be from someone who has feelings for you, perhaps. Um, I mean... Looking at this, you're not focused on love in the month of May. I mean, you're looking more about your, your soul path, your life's purpose, um, the next step on your path, and more focus on you. You're just doing you. So I feel like people are starting to admire you. The, the Empress energy is someone who turns heads, is beautiful, both inside and out. And with that confidence, you're building your confidence towards getting what you want. And you're dedicating yourself to your life's purpose and being um, prosperous in the as a result and I feel like you're an attractive proposition so if you are looking for love I do feel like uh, there's someone who's thinking about you already so maybe that's what that message is as well someone's going to message you and say that they're, they're thinking about you um, so please take that as it resonates um, yeah um, ooh, it's getting really hot whatever this is uh, this is intense feelings now I mean a friend could write a love song it doesn't have to be a, a lover it can be that a person is um, thinking about you and sending you some sort of, you know, song or gift or something like that. So, or maybe even a, a friend sends you that song or you heard that song just before the reading or we'll hear it just after. Um, so I'll leave it like that. The Hierophant is about your dedication. It's also about your knowledge. Okay. This is about you. Um, you could also be stepping into like a teaching profession in some way. Some of you are going to really connect to spirituality or you are very spiritual and you may uh, extend your gifts to others. May You may uh, offer them, for example, you may do uh, things like Tarot or you may uh, offer uh, Reiki or uh, yoga or some sort of spiritual practice that actually helps humans progress in some way and uh, release. So I, I really feel like you're a mentor. Uh, I feel like you're helping people up as much as you are being helped up. I also feel like if you're in your work position, people in power or in the hierarchical system are actually noticing you, um, recognizing that uh, you you know, you know love what you do. And I feel like there's elevation here for you. Uh, but the Hierophant indicates you're having faith. Okay, there is a real test of faith here for you. And I feel like you're taking the first step and you're having faith with this uh, energy. Uh, King of Wands tells me that you're influencing your situation and you're aligning yourself um, with the benefits of the universe, but also with your heart's desire. Uh, this is about you taking the initiative, uh, being motivated to either step into a leadership position um, or have an experience where you are independent, um, you're non-conforming, and you are um, meeting challenges head on. Uh, I feel with this card that you are stepping up Okay, I feel like you're bossing up in some way. Um, now, I would say, uh, so be be mindful because a little energy that's coming through here is that you're pretty sensible financially, uh, normally, but because of the time period with that Taurus energy, now Taurus is normally all about, you know, saving possessions and, uh, you know, working really hard to make money. But because you have that Uranus and Mars influence, it can be to suddenly want to splurge and spend money. So, I mean, uh, you know, you know your finances yourself, my beautiful Aquarius. Uh, you just do you. I feel like you are doing you, but I, I feel, uh, you know, don't, 
don't overspend don't go crazy okay that's what i'm getting with that energy uh but i feel this is a card of you sort of taking the plunge and doing something really exciting that leads to your independence, your freedom, your passion. If you've lost your motivation or your energy uh, recently or you felt less than yourself, you're actually gaining that energy back, that vitality, and you're moving forward because of it. Uh, Nine of Cups is really promising. This says everything you've been working hard towards or you've been wishing for manifesting is being fulfilled. It's being granted. This is a wish granted. The Nine of Cups is, you know, you being proud of yourself, um, fulfilling your destiny or, or accomplishing a goal. This, this card is success. Okay, so it's basically saying that you're on the right path and you're achieving whatever direction you want to go in. Um, this card is also a card of you being happy, well-being, peace, serenity, completing something that you set out to accomplish. This is contentment, but it came with your commitment. So I feel like whatever you've been committing yourself to or chipping away at, I feel like you're headed in the right direction and the universe is bringing you what you need, but you're also meeting the universe head on by taking the initiative to get there as well okay now the empress card is beautiful this is all about abundance this is about nurturing an idea or being creative but i feel this is about your prosperity okay uh, also this is about finding um that happy space in your home life because the empress card is all about domesticity as well you know um nesting and i feel like this is about you putting your own needs first this is about you being comfortable in your own skin um you know also brimming with potential. So whether you're trying to create something or achieve something, this is about you being noticed for what you do and that every, uh, you know, there's infinite possibility for you to manifest for your highest good. You're nourishing yourself. You're taking time for you. There's a new version of you in May where, you know, you're, you're just doing and it's effortless. Uh, you're letting go of the struggle and I feel like things become easier. The universe is sending you an opportunity to be able to have more free time for you to dedicate yourself and have faith um, and you know achieve whatever it is you set out to do so i really see a lot of progress you're really i mean i feel like you're taking center stage with this card even though that's normally the star energy i feel like you are taking center stage and you're loving yourself fully um so um i mean for some of you for example if you've been looking at your life's path and you've been uh, struggling with it, struggling with direction, I feel like you find your direction in the month of May and you really make a decision to take that leap of faith and dedicate yourself to that um, life's purpose or to your calling. And it leads to a lot of prosperity. For those of you who are looking for love, I do feel like there's a change in the way that you look at yourself, your confidence, uh, you're preparing yourself for commitment. Okay, that's what I see in May. And there is someone coming on in that will sweep you off your feet. Uh, it's more a little bit towards the end of May um, is what I'm getting. But someone who's very passionate about you, someone who comes on in and really like pursues you. Uh, I feel like you don't, I mean, you will, of course, meet them halfway. But I feel like you've never really been like pursued hard by somebody who really shows that they're all in from the very get go. Um, and uh, they find you really beautiful. For those who of, who've are already in a relationship, you may be deepening your commitment with your partner and finding a little bit more spark and um, adventure in your uh, relationships. And for those who are not looking for love at all, I feel like you're revitalizing your spirits by, you know, connecting more with friends um, and finding a little bit more enjoyment rather than just having your nose to the grindstone all the time and work, work, work. Okay. Uh, for those of you who are retired, because there's a lot of comments in the comments box below about retirement, I will try and do a retirement a retiree's kind of reading at some stage when I have a bit of time there um, but I, I, I see you sort of like trying to um, find things that really spark your um, attention your excitement your passion like passion projects and things like that and trying to find new groups like uh, friendship groups to in integrate yourself with where you sort of like feel emotionally fulfilled and I feel like you're being more confident than you've ever been before. Um, I really feel like you're stepping into your own, um, stepping into your own moment, as it were, to, of enjoyment. Now, I'm just going to get some final cards before we close the reading. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels, can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Okay, that's four cards. Uh, I normally only take like two or three, but they want. Now, this is a really good omen, really great omen. I've been asking for a ladybug for uh, a couple of weeks now. Um, <laughs> Obviously, I'm a Scorpio, so it's not for me, but um, I've been looking for a ladybug as a sign for something uh, personal to my family. Uh, but we got ladybug, good luck. 
So as I said, the universe is sending you uh, some benevolent luck there. It says you are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about a loving and colorful you. The, you bless the world with color and good luck. Okay, so this is about you uh, finding that luck that you truly deserve, but also be, you know, finding your own luck. You're taking a leap of faith in a certain area of your life. We've also got white stag protector. And it says, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you to where you want to go. Awaken the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. So something you've been fighting for, as you can see with those antlers, something you've been fighting for that is unique to you um, is something you're going to achieve. And it says, Puffin Partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. So this, I mean, the Empress twice there shows me that you're accepting yourself and being more confident in your own skin a lot more. It says, feel confident about being you. Literally that sentence, feel confident about being you. And you are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will always give you the best results. Okay, so um, that three of cups there with that ten of wands uh, can also be you sort of delegating in your workspace or perhaps asking a friend if you're in need and then reaching out. Um, you know, you don't have to struggle all by yourself, my beautiful Aquarians. We've also got dear and love. For those of you, as I said, who are looking for love, there is an energy of it um, coming through. That's why I mentioned it. It says, be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. Okay, so that is like you preparing for, um, well, preparing yourself to love yourself fully. But if you are looking for love, you're, pre you're preparing yourself by loving yourself first. And, you know, finding that confidence to uh, enjoy who you are before you extend your love to another. Okay. Uh, and finally, we're just going to get some personal power cards. Uh, they want one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Green Angels. We've got I am happy and I am beautiful. Those are the two mantra cards that you're meant to remember. Uh, I mean, always, of course, but uh, it, it's going to be something that's um, on your mind in the month of May. Uh, I am happy. That's having a positive state of mind. It's number 17, which is a star card energy. Uh, as I said, you're going to be stepping into, uh, you know, a center stage, as it were, in your own life. And number 17 is always an energy of hope. Um, and we've got I am beautiful. So that's about accepting who you are, loving yourself fully. You can never be another person. So why not start loving you and start, uh, you know, enjoying who you are? It's number 29. When you reduce it, 2 plus 9 is 11, which is a soul path number. And that's what you're all about in the month of May. Uh, I'm just going to get a drink it before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Went eagles. Okay, so we have the key, the planetary alignment key. Uh, very important information is coming to you on the 16th of May or two days either side is what they're giving me. Um, and it unlocks something that you love doing or that you've put in a lot of love and care investment into. There's a little heart on the end of that key, just so you're aware, but I feel like you're moving forward, unlocking good luck, okay? Uh, they actually want me to put this on the Empress card, so I feel this is something that actually helps you in your personal growth and um, leads the way forward. So I hope something resonated in that reading for you, my beautiful Aquarians. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me. Now, uh, as I'm leaving the reading, they're showing me the full moon eclipse. It is very powerful for you. OK, a lot of good news coming on in. I mean, I would re even remember that song because it may be that that song has got nothing to do with the love for you. Perhaps that song is, is a signifier that this good news comes on in just when you need it, that the universe is sending you the love song, not a person. So uh, I just got two chills there. <laughs> um, my, my guides are giving me that and I'm like, whoa, that's actually something I never even thought about. Maybe the universe is sending you a love song. OK, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aquarians. Love and light.